What you're watching is Mason Trueblood teaching a musical theater piece at Civic Dance Center in Northwest Bakersfield. And he happens to know one of the dancers on the Broadway stage. The dude is an in, in total inspiration for me. Here, up, down, one, reach. His inspiration happened to have started dancing in this exact studio. Such a good role model. He's one of my favorite people in the world. I'm glad he's out there making it a better place, and I can't wait to see him in New York. Who is he exactly? Well, his name is Voltaire Wade Green. I've only had one Voltaire, and I mean that in a lot of ways. And he successfully made his journey from Bakersfield to Broadway. It all started at Thompson Junior High under the direction of Randy Miller. We started with alto sax, then switched to bass guitar, and then started doing some some performing on on the keyboard as well that kind of introduced like not just being stuck to one thing like having options and so that was like yeah he started all of it i'm just very very pleased to have had a part in in his life and in, and in his growth in music around the same time he discovered his gift for music he started dancing after watching his neighbor dance in the nutcracker no voltaire you could do this uh, my mom wouldn't let me play football unless i took a dance class he was charismatic and fun to work with just like in band he was focused and became a standout notice those students who are so open-minded and listen to teachers with just this attitude of please tell me everything you know and that was voltaire <laughs> Uh, but he was also very committed to his art from an early age. After junior high, he enrolled as a freshman at Bakersfield High School. He was a very determined, but also a very bright, very happy uh, young man. It was during his sophomore year when everything changed. I got a full scholarship to a ballet school in Philly at 15. I was proud that he was choosing to continue to follow this thing that I just truly thought was a gift. Wade Green graduated from the Rock School for Dance Education. You think you just, you know, take a plane to Broadway and you audition and that that's how it should happen or you should stop. And he didn't do any of those things. After dropping out of college, he faced various obstacles, but he kept going. He ended up being, going on tour with a couple contemporary ballet companies. It, and it wasn't that just straight line. He took a break from performing and started teaching dance class in Virginia. And that's when I realized how much they played such a significant role coming up and like really fueling my love for doing what I do and pursuing it. He took that motivation and headed back to the Big Apple. Then I moved back up to New York and really hit it. I was like, this is it. I'm not getting any younger. And then my first big show, um, it, they ended up closing it before we opened. This is when Wade Green almost gave up. Everything changed after that. The ambition, the, the gusto to get out there and do it. And you know, he did. Hamilton and Voltaire are very similar. They're both people who are scrappy and hardworking and they kind of have that, that essence of America. His shot on Broadway was a hit. Hamilton took home 11 awards at this year's Tonys, including Best Musical. I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was, but I knew it was like special because it, the way it affected me. And to see your students with all of these famous people because they're admiring the work that he's doing, uh, it's pretty extraordinary. Even though he's in New York City, he hasn't forgotten his Bakersfield roots. People who were around me my entire life were just good people. And I, I have to always come back home. I have to see everybody. And they haven't forgotten him either. Dream big and you work hard, anything is possible in America. Voltaire did that, and he's living it, and I'm so proud of him for it. It made perfect sense seeing, seeing where, where he's going and, and what he's doing. He cherishes it, and I think that's how it comes across, as this humble person that is just feels blessed to get to do it. The, the dream is out there, and, the, and you can achieve it. And it's been proven over and over. Voltaire is the, you know, is the example of that. You've done a great job, and, and we're your biggest fans. And one of those people he's inspired is now making his own path in the entertainment industry. I mean, Voltaire's one of those guys that sees the competition and ups the ante, uh, and I feel like he's kind of inspired me to do the same, and so I'm pushing the same way out in L.A. That kid is talented. Yo, Bakersfield put then. Don't sleep on Bakersfield people, man. We got good, talented people in Bakersfield. Wade Green offers this final piece of advice. Put in the work, love what you do, and be relentless.